Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here in the C++ series. And in this lesson, we're going to continue talking about pointers, which we talked about previously. Now, I have a little reminder here that we talked about pointers being a data type where you can store an address and this idea that we can dereference a pointer to retrieve the value stored at that address. Now, in this lesson, I want to give you a little bit of a pop quiz just to test your understanding of pointers here. So I'm going to leave this diagram here as a reminder of what a pointer is, what dereferencing is, and see if you can answer this code quiz here. So with that said, let's go ahead and look at the code on the left-hand side of the screen here and see if you can figure out what the value is that's going to be printed out here. And I think if you get this, you'll be able to have a good idea of what pointers are. Otherwise, you should refresh on this video again and the previous lesson on pointers. So with that said, in this program, I create a variable x set equal to 7. I create a pointer, and it's going to store the address of x wherever it lives. That's what's shown in this diagram here on the right side here. And then I have p of x here, which I am dereferencing. Remember, this is the second use case of this asterisk here with pointers. We use them with the type after the data type to create the pointer. And when we want to retrieve or otherwise look at what p of x is storing at an address, we put the asterisk right in front of it. And in this case, what I'm doing is dereferencing p of x and setting it equal to 42. Now, my question is, what is going to be printed out in this program? And this is the pop quiz, so go ahead and pause the video and see if you can make an answer. And hopefully you took a moment to pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and recompile the program, and you can check out what your answer is. So x, of course, stores 42 here. And maybe it's useful for me to illustrate this visually. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is clear my canvas here on the right and give you the breakdown here. Now, this is something I just want to recommend for you to do in general, but it is to draw when you're understanding and learning about pointers. Even as an experienced programmer, I still try to draw my data structures so I can see them rather than think about the memory addresses. So if this was too easy of a quiz, that's great that you got it, but you're going to want to stick around here and just see how I draw things. So again, the idea is just to draw the actual boxes line by line as the program instantiates these variables. So for example, I have x here. That means I have some box here. This is some integer here, int. I'll draw at the top of the box here. And again, this is x here. So x, however, has some memory location that it lives at. So I'll go ahead and just make up some location. 0, x, 1,000 here, which is just a made up memory location. And then the next thing that happens is, well, I'm putting the value 7 into this box here. So here it is, 7. OK, so then the next line here, I start creating this pointer p of x here. So that's just some other location in memory here. So here it is. I'll draw the data type at the top here. It's an int star here. And well, what goes inside of this box? Well, that's to be determined, but let me write down the memory address of this. Uh, I'm going to write it as 0, 0, 004. We'll just assume that it comes somewhere after this location uh, here. And again, what we're putting in the box here is this value here, the address of x here. So I'll just go ahead and put 0x1000 zero, 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 zero inside of that box here. And since it's pointing to it, that means, or rather, since we're storing this address here, we can think of this as just having an arrow to this box here, or even better, what's inside of this box. So if I dereference what's at this address here, uh, and I'm just going to draw an asterisk, and then the address 0x1004, that means, hey, follow this arrow here into this box. And whatever this value is here that is stored in this box, the thing that I'm dereferencing, return that, okay? Which should give me this 7 here. So another way that I'm rewriting this is just the uh, ampersand p of x. 
And actually, let me make this a little bit more clear by just getting rid of the address here because we're actually dereferencing or returning whatever this value is. So maybe it's a little bit more clear to just write it as uh, dereferencing, well, whatever is at 0x1000 uh, in that way. Okay, so these two things are equivalent here. Okay, so that's the idea. We always want to be able to draw our pointers, what they point to, and also understand that when we're dereferencing something, like we're doing at line 9 here, we're able to read the value that's stored, as well as write a new value to the thing that we're pointing to. That's certainly allowed. Now we have talked about things like const previously, which will allow us to make pointers perhaps read only, or rather point to things that are read only so they can't be changed, but that'll have to be a future lesson here. So with that said, I just wanted to give you a little quiz on pointers. I hope that was useful for you to just refresh your knowledge from the previous lesson and to take away the one big tip. When you're thinking about pointers and pointing things and linking data together, which is what you're doing with a pointer, it's always, always useful to draw. So I hope you found that helpful and go ahead and like and subscribe so that I make sure to see you in the next video. All right, take care, folks.